Hello and welcome. My name is Ursula Heise and I'm the current chair of the Department of English at UCLA. It's my privilege today on behalf of the department's faculty and staff to welcome all of you, graduates, friends and families to this virtual celebration of your degree. You're part of an extraordinary group of students who are completing their degrees in the midst of several global and national crises. I'm sure that four years ago when you started your college education, you didn't imagine that this is what your graduation would look like. Actually, I think even a little over a year ago, none of us could have imagined that any of us um, would not be in Poly Pavilion together today and that we'd be celebrating your degree via Zoom and computer recording instead. And that way of graduating may seem really strange and unsettling, but it doesn't take anything away from your accomplishment. On the contrary, you're part of a very special group of educated citizens who've had the thoughtfulness, insight, and courage to major in English and American literature. And you've completed your major under the most difficult of circumstances. You had to leave campus. You had to switch quite abruptly to studying and learning via Zoom. Some of you had to struggle with bad internet connections or with a lack of a private space where you could attend classes undisturbed. And quite a few of you had to deal with illness among your family and friends um, or with financial hardship that was brought on by either your own unemployment or by the unemployment of people in your family. That you managed to graduate in spite of all of these completely unexpected difficulties proves how resilient, resourceful, and imaginative you are. And all that makes your graduation a much bigger accomplishment than it would be in a normal year. I'm truly proud to be able to speak to you today and to congratulate you, not just on your BA, but on all of the strength and the endurance and the sheer imagination that it's taken you to get here. You're graduating and going out into the world amidst three concurrent crises. There's the medical crisis of the COVID-19 pandemic, there's the economic crisis that followed from the lockdowns that were meant to keep people safe from infection. And the social crisis that's ensued from all of our witnessing over the past year, a brutal police murder on the media and its aftermath and observing and perhaps also participating in the protests against systemic racism that emerged in response all over the world. I've heard from many of you either that it's been really, really difficult to focus on your academic work with all of these crises unfolding around you. And from others that you actually kind of found a welcome anchor point in your reading and writing and classes amidst the changes that have swept all of us along like a tsunami. In many ways, what we have found ourselves part of in this year is unprecedented. And you deserve admiration for persevering under incredibly difficult and unpredictable circumstances. But in spite of how extraordinary and really unprecedented this multi-layered crisis is, I've also found myself drawn back into older stories that describe some of the crises that are those that we're currently going through. And some of these books are staples of um, literature majors. Remember Homer's Iliad? Well, there's the plague that breaks out among the Greek troops that lay siege to the city of Troy. And that was a text um, that was written in the eighth century BCE. Or Boccaccio's Decameron, which was written in the mid 1300s in which a group of men and women flee from a pl plague outbreak in Florence, Italy and lock down in a deserted villa to then tell each other the dozens of stories that make up the book. Concurrently, I found myself looking back at Barbara Tuckman's amazing book, A Distant Mirror, The Calamitous 14th Century. That's a book by a medieval scholar that portrays very vividly how outbreaks of bubonic plague in the 14th century and war, but then also inequality and corruption in the time period made life miserable for millions of people. And the title, A Distant Mirror, resonated with me more than just a little over this past year. There's Daniel Defoe's Journal of the Plague Year, published in 1722 as a partly fictional and partly non-fictional account of the horrific plague outbreak in London in 1665. I've reread the French novelist Albert Camus' classic novel, La Peste, The Plague, um, about a doctor who persists among the ravages of a plague outbreak in North Africa. 
And of course, the Colombian Nobel Prize winner, Gabriel Garcia Marquez's El Amor en los Tiempos del Cólera, Love in the Time of Cholera from 1985, um, which is a wonderful story of love that survives many decades of separation and adversity. And there are, of course, many others, but these are books that have stuck with me. Rereading them over the last year has given me the opportunity to pause and reflect in the middle of these constantly changing news about the current pandemic here in the US and in other parts of the world. It's made me realize, just as a matter of historical fact, how often human communities have confronted diseases and other natural disasters, and how often they've managed to make that bad situation worse by not pulling together, but turning on each other, blaming each other, or persecuting those with the least power, and so making already inexisting inequalities um, even worse. But it's also made me appreciate again how much fiction by offering us scenes from which we can distance ourselves a little because they're fictional can help us confront uncomfortable situations uh, in our own present and uncomfortable questions about our own behavior in those situations. Storytelling is crucial for both of these dimensions. It makes it possible for us to see a situation from the perspective of someone who's quite unlike ourselves. And it allows us to look at our own experience with the help of narrative, which is essentially a tool to make sense of events and experiences and passing time. Now, understanding how storytelling works is, of course, one of the crucial elements in an English or American literature major. And I'm sure you've all consciously or unconsciously used your skills in narrative analysis when you followed the news over this past year. You saw widely varying stories about the outcome of a national election. You saw stories about a raging pandemic alternate with stories of recovery and hope, depending on which country and which moment you looked at. You saw stories about the deep history of racism in the United States mingle with stories about change and reform. And here too, I found myself starting to reread and rewatch stories that writers and filmmakers have told. Spike Lee's gripping film, Do the Right Thing from the 1980s, cleverly uses the narrative structure of ancient tragedy to tell a story about violent race relations in contemporary America. It includes the death of an African-American man, Radio Rahim, who dies from a police officer's chokehold in spite of the protests of the onlookers. And that, of course, was a scene that seemed to me on rewatching it eerily prescient of the events that transpired last year. I found myself going back to the poetry of Amir Baraka, eloquently responding to racial confrontations in New Jersey in the late 1960s. And to Colson Whitehead's The Underground Railroad, which is a really strange novel about a literal material underground railroad um, that's now been turned into a TV series. And I was riveted by the TV series Watchmen and its retelling of the Tulsa Race Massacre, a hundred years ago, along with its historical resonance in the present. Closer to home, I read Nina Revoir's Southland, a gripping novel about different understandings of justice among Japanese Americans and African Americans in the aftermath of the Watts riots in 1965. And of course, I had to rewatch Twilight, Los Angeles 1992, by the playwright and actress Anna DeVere Smith. Um, who reflects on the aftermath of the King, Rodney King beating in the early 90s through the voices of dozens of people that she interviewed. All of these books and films moved me back and forth between facts and fictions, between events that happened in the past and those that are unfolding in front of our eyes right now. It's that dynamic back and forth that makes you want to engage with the problem urgently and deeply. Um, think of Whitehead's play on the literal and allegorical meanings of geography and rail lines during the time of slavery and after. Or think of Anna DeVere Smith's masterful performance of different voices, male and female, old and young, white, African-American, and Korean-American. All of these immersed me into the issues and made me want to stick with the story. At the same time, they made me take a critical look at my own experience as a European immigrant to the United States, hyper aware of some of the strangeness of race relations here, and then oblivious to other dimensions that I've had to pay attention to and listen and learn from. That's what I love about literature and film and art and why I so much enjoy teaching students how narrative works and hearing how you read and see it. 
it grips you and pulls you in. And in the process, it opens you up for empathy. And I don't mean empathy here in the sense of pity or compassion, but empathy in the literal sense of feeling with someone else, seeing things from their point of view for a while, no matter whether you end up agreeing with that viewpoint in the end or not. And there's another aspect about teaching narrative and metaphor and other forms of speech and writing that I love and that I think is important for anyone who gets a UCLA degree. That's an understanding of how storytelling works in novels and films and plays, sure, but also on Twitter, on Facebook, on CNN and in the newspapers. Understanding how stories are constructed, how they impact audiences, how they draw on particular histories and genres, and how they can be reshaped for the future is one of the most important skills I hope the English major has taught you. It's a skill without which it's impossible to understand deeply the world of social media, of real and fake news, of science and science denial that surrounds us. That's really the core of what all of the faculty in our department, many of whom are distinguished scholars in their fields of expertise, have been teaching you over the past few years. Your degree in English or American literature and culture will not languish by the wayside in the life before you because these majors provide the best equipment for living, no matter what career you go into. I look forward to hearing how you will use your skills in the careers that you'll be starting over the next few years. Unlike last year's graduates, you're entering the working world in an economy that seems to be recovering and where the numbers of jobs are growing. Now, some of you no doubt have been anxious about going out there and perhaps were anxious even before the COVID-19 pandemic, or perhaps you weren't, but your parents were. That's because the media often portray humanities BAs as useless degrees that lead to underpaid jobs and unhappy lives. Now, that is fake news. All the studies in recent years have shown that unemployment about, uh, among humanities degree holders is about the same as in any other kind of degree. It's about 4% in normal times. And the overwhelming majority of graduates find jobs that they say they're super satisfied with. And the data show that English majors and humanities majors more broadly move into an incredibly wide range of jobs from arts and entertainment to teaching and from administrative work to sales and finance. Some of our alumni who've gone on to distinguished careers in finance and law still say their lives wouldn't have been what they are without the writing, communication and analytical skills that they learned in their major. I trust that these skills will also help you in your chosen careers, and it'll be fun to hear what paths you go down. To foreground the importance of these skills in our department even more clearly, we have recently created a professional writing minor that students from English and around campus are enrolling in. It's become popular beyond our wildest expectations. And we're in the process of setting up a creative writing minor with the help of our outstanding creative writing faculty that will come online next year. So quite a few of you have already shown what amazing creative and analytical writers you are. And we seek to foster that among those who are not English or American literature majors. All of you, whether you write creatively or analytically or both, are the proud alumni of UCLA's Department of English. And you're part of the unique generation that accomplished its academic goals in the midst of a global pandemic, along with social and political crises within the US. You should take pride in being critically informed and intellectually sophisticated citizens, equipped with analytical reasoning, wicked smart critical thinking, and the writing and communication skills that will help you flourish in any professional setting and will help you make good use of the opportunities you find and those that you yourselves will make as you engage in a variety of ways with the social, economic, ecological, and public health problems that currently confront all of us. But before you go out there, make this day your day, a time for your family and friends to come together to acknowledge and celebrate your achievements. This is also a perfect time for you to thank your parents, partners, and friends who encouraged and supported you in completing your degree. And it's a good time also to thank the instructors who've taught you Teaching is an exhilarating job, but it is also exhausting. And many of your teachers have struggled with the same multitasking, the same technological glitches, and the same worries about health and family that you have over this last year of Zoom meetings and Zoom classes and Zoom presentations. 
So take a moment over the summer and say thank you for a great education. I know it means a lot to them. It means the world to me when I hear from my students as they move out into their new lives. I think we can all take pride in teaching and studying at the university that's ranked number one among public universities in the nation and widely recognized as the greatest public university in the world. Equally important, this is an institution owned by the people of California and open to people from across the world. It upholds the belief that education is a basic human right and not the privilege of a few. I hope that as all of you go out into the world, you won't forget how important it was for you and will be for generations to come to have access to a public university that offers the finest educational opportunities available in the world for a wide range of students from California and from far beyond. On behalf of the entire department, its faculty and staff, I wish you successful careers and even more importantly, fulfilling lives. You are what gives our beautiful and vibrant university vitality and meaning. You'll be missed. No matter what your pursuits, we know that you've learned in, what you've learned in our department has brought together your passion and your intellect, a combination that has prepared you to embark in the world and make a difference. Anna Bevere Smith and her performance, Twilight Los Angeles 1992, which I mentioned earlier, um, interviewed the accomplished African-American opera singer, Jesse Norman, about the protests. I think that if I were a teenager, a youngster, 20 or something, Norman said to Devere Smith, and I felt I was being heard for the first time, it would not be singing as we know it. It would be a roar. Oh, I think it would be a roar. Oh, it would come, it would come from the bottom of my feet. It would be like a lion just roaring. It would be just like the earth's first utterance. So go out there and roar. Congratulations, class of 2021. Greetings, everyone. I'm Yogita Goyal. I am undergraduate vice chair of the Department of English at UCLA. And it gives me great pleasure today to have an op the opportunity to mark the achievements of our amazing students in the Department of English, students who've won awards, who've completed honors, and have uh, met so many difficult challenges over the last year. I'd like to begin with um, graduates who have earned Department of English awards. First, we have the winner of the 2020 to 2021 Harold D. Fox Memorial Scholarship, Raquel Tahvildari. Congratulations, Raquel. Winner of the 2019 to 2020 Clara Rusk Hastings Scholarship, Kaya Shairi. Congratulations, Kaya. Winner of the 2020 Barbara Bello Watson Shakespeare Essay Contest, Natalie Finander. Congratulations, Natalie. Winner of the 2021 Barbara Bello Watson Shakespeare Essay Contest, Jackson Rose. Congratulations, Jackson. Now I'd like to acknowledge the graduates who've earned Creative Writing Awards. First, we have the Ruth Brill Scholarship Award. The first prize for 2021 goes to Sauri. Borayo. Next, we have the Shirley Collier Prize. The 2021 first prize goes to Noemi Van Slyke. The Christopher Zaida Prize for 2020 goes to Michael Carley. We have three prizes for the David Wong Louis Memorial Prize. The first prize for 2020 goes to Kathleen McGovern. Honorable mention for 2020 goes to Christy Hines. And the 2020 first prize goes to Vivian Adamian. The Falling Leaves Prize for 2020 goes to Christy Hines. The May, Meller, May Mero, Miller Award for 2020 goes to Kaya Shairi. The Olfit Agrama Prize for Creative Writing for 2020 goes to Vivian Maida. Congratulations to all the students for winning Creative Writing Awards. Now I'll turn to graduates who've earned English departmental honors. Um, Sauri Borayo won honors. Michael Carley won highest honors. Stephen Dolan won honors. Olivia Dowdo won highest honors. Emma Keenan won highest honors. Yasmin Majidi won honors. Vivian Maida won highest honors. 
Lillian Mater won honors, Megumi Nezo won honors, Erin Onareka won highest honors, Jai Prishkulnik won highest honors, Hannah Rosenberg won honors, Kalisa To won honors. And now it gives me great pleasure to announce the winner of the 2021 Thompson Prize for Best Honors Thesis to Jai Prishkulnik. Congratulations, Jai, and to all the students for completing honors under very difficult circumstances this year. Now presenting the UCLA English Class of 2021. Congratulations, graduates. Ruby Lizetta Mayanez, BA in American Literature and Culture. Megan Anderson, BA in American Literature and Culture. Noemi Bastida, BA in American Literature and Culture. Joseph Butkus, BA in American Literature and Culture. Brooke Leanne Colgan, BA in American Literature and Culture and Art History. Olivia Renee Dowdle, BA in American Literature and Culture. Departmental Highest Honors. Ryan Adam Dyroff, BA in American Literature and Culture. Shaked Isaac Edry, BA in American Literature and Culture. Lucy Lizette Flattery Vickness, BA in American Literature and Culture and Sociology. I didn't know it at first, but my great grandma graduated from the school of Ed in 1929. My great grandfather coached UCLA to the Rose Bowl in 1947. My grandma got a life saving lung transplant at Reagan in 2007, and now I'm following in their footsteps life. Victoria Noel Joya, BA in American Literature and Culture. Mia Ines Glyana, BA in American Literature and Culture and African American Studies. Melissa Christine Gonzalez. BA in American Literature and Culture. Levon I. I. Gregorian. BA in American Literature and Culture. Zivius Rael Haikin. BA in American Literature and Culture. Jessica Katsuko Hamada. BA in American Literature and Culture. Alvarez Henderson Ricardez, BA in American Literature and Culture. Bianca Elena Johnson, BA in American Literature and Culture and Sociology. Estelle Dabin Kong, BA in American Literature and Culture. Lee Kawachi, BA in American Literature and Culture. Thank you, UCLA English Department, mom, dad, and brother, sister for helping me on this journey. I did it! Kurt Evan Klaus, BA in American Literature and Culture and BS in Cognitive Science. Eloise Rain Massad, BA in American Literature and Culture. Teresa Alexis Medina, BA in American Literature and Culture. Alexander Christian Melendez, BA in American Literature and Culture. Emily Scott Masisco, BA in American Literature and Culture and Political Science. Alyssa Giselle Mungia, BA in American Literature and Culture. Gabriel Thomas Ortega, BA in American Literature and Culture. Mia Lucia Polini, BA in American Literature and Culture. This is crazy. I feel like I should have more articulate things. More articulate things to say. But I'm really grateful for my mom and for my recipe. Rosie Nicole Ramady, BA in American Literature and Culture. Andrew James Razon, BA in American Literature and Culture. Haley Destiny Reed, BA in American Literature and Culture. 
Ashley Odalis Robles, BA in American Literature and Culture, Maria Celeste Roman Gomez, BA in American Literature and Culture, Cara Vivian Rosenberg, BA in American Literature and Culture, Jennifer Irene Ruiz, BA in American Literature and Culture, Alexis Sanchez, BA in American Literature and Culture, Miriam Santana, BA in American Literature and Culture, Amy Lynn Skevers, BA in American Literature and Culture, Jose Javier Solis Morales, BA in American Literature and Culture, Andrew Valdivinos, BA in American Literature and Culture, Jayla Dawn Williams Green, BA in American Literature and Culture, Nicole of News, BA in English, Sam Abrahams, BA in English, Vivian Adamian, BA in English, Monica Aguilar Flores Garcia, BA in English, Adela Maria Aguirre, BA in English. just like to thank everyone who helped me in my four years and made it possible for me to graduate. She's kind of time to share right now, but um, thank you, thank you, thank you all. Fatima Akbarova, BA in English. Esmeralda Aldez, BA in English and Chicana and Chicano Studies. Fazal Hanif, Junior Ali, BA in English. Esmeralda Ruby Alvarez, BA in English. Diana Elizabeth Alvizu, BA in English. Princess C. Amogo, BA in English. Rachel Claire Anderson, BA in English. Alexandra Kayulani Araki, BA in English. Tiffany Charlotte Arif, BA in English. Eric Daniel Armenta, BA in English. Alice Assis Braga, BA in English. Annabelle Violet Augustine, BA in English. Adriana Alicia Avila, BA in English. Emma Nazarian, BA in English. Warisha Aza, BA in English. Henry Barcordarian, BA in English. Donovan Barnes, BA in English. Yvette Ida Barrera, BA in English. Jennifer Leanne Beck, BA in English. Spencer Johnette Beck, BA in English and Psychology. John Wayne Badell. BA in English. Lauren Marie Beebe. BA in English. Claudia Gabrielle Bernaga. BA in English. I would like to thank my family and friends for their constant love and support throughout my college journey. Congratulations, class of 2021, we made it. Ahmed Tarek Bay. BA in English. Alexa Nicole Black. 
BA in English and History. Catherine Joy Black, BA in English. Blair Irene Bonney, BA in English. Amelia Felicita Borboa, BA in English. Sauri Darlene Borreo, BA in English. Departmental Honors. Quiero agradecer a mi familia, a mi mamá, a mi papá y a mi hermana por siempre apoyarme y en creer en mí. Este logro es de todos. Christy Rose Marie Bradford, BA in English. Rebecca Brandes, BA in English. Jarrell Thomas Briggs, BA in English and World Arts and Cultures. Joseph Michael Briggs, BA in English and History. Ariel S. Brown, BA in English. Erica Amon Brown, BA in English. Jorge Caballero Naranjo, BA in English. Emma Isabel Kane, BA in English. Maria Catherine Kerr, BA in English. Mindy Esperanza Calderon, BA in English. Sam Charles Caldwell, BA in English. Sylvia Mary Claire Camacho, BA in English. Lauren Michelle Cameron, BA in English. Alejandra Vanessa Campos Moran. BA in English and Gender Studies. Kiana by Cantu. BA in English. Michael Richard Carley. BA in English. Departmental Highest Honors. Savannah Carrera. BA in English. Trilon Edward Carter. BA in English. Tyler Peite Chong, BA in English. Emily Chow, BA in English and History. Kenneth James Chesler, BA in English. Michelle M. Choi, BA in English. Eugenia Chung Chow, BA in English. Clarity Crystal Chua, BA in English and BS in Biochemistry. Justin Chi Yun Chung, BA in English. Allison Joanna Clark, BA in English. Malika Colosso, BA in English and Political Science. Jackson Robert Coombe, BA in English. Nicole Lynn Comparsi, BA in English. Olivia Alicia Conklin. BA in English. Samantha Contreras. BA in English. Brett Cooper. BA in English. Jessica Cordova. BA in English. Christina Martha Cortez. 
BA in English. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I did it. Josefina S. Cosentino. BA in English. Justin James Crawford. BA in English. Riley Siegmund Kuda. BA in English. Joseph Cole Cutler. BA in English. Brooke Caitlin Cusick. BA in English. Ashley Renee Davis. BA in English and African American Studies. Andrew Christopher Dawood. BA in English. Jorge Maro de la Cruz. BA in English and Spanish. Natalie Yasmin de Leon. BA in English. Natividad Garcia Delgadillo. BA in English. Shay Victor Dennis. BA in English and History. Emily and Diefenbach. BA in English. Nathan Daniel Doe. BA in English. Stephen M. Dolan. BA in English. Departmental Honors. Sean G. Dooley. BA in English. Sophie Marie Duran. BA in English. Emily May Ernest. BA in English. Jacob Benny Gasfilpot. BA in English. Natalie Lauren Epstein. BA in English. Vanessa Ryyth Ortega Escara. BA in English. Shanahan Abad Europa. BA in English. Miranda Noel Federanzik. BA in English and Study of Religion. Shiloh Feldman. BA in English. Hannah Curran Ferguson. BA in English and Dance. Brianna Fernandez. BA in English. Dom Valentino Fernandez. BA in English. Natalie Rose Fernander. BA in English. David Fletcher Nar. BA in English. Alyssa Flynn. BA in English. Kyla Michaela Francis. BA in English. Alana Alexandra Francis Crow. BA in English and Gender Studies. Shayna Catherine Friedman. BA in English. Madison Sky Fuentes. BA in English and BS in Neuroscience. Kaylee Fugel. BA in English. Meadow Isabel Fuller. BA in English. Elodia Garcia Lopez. BA in English. Teresa Ray Kievers. BA in English. Melina Gilbert. BA in English. Nicole Giles. BA in English. Jared Godoy. BA in English. 
Virginia Marquez Gomez. BA in English. Jacqueline Tamara Gorian. BA in English. Adriana Caitlin Grayson. BA in English and Linguistics and Computer Science. William Trey Green. BA in English. Gatlin Tad Griffith. BA in English. Armin G. Gregorian. BA in English. Priscilla Eunice Guerrero. BA in English. Alexandra J. Gushu. BA in English. Maya Sol Gutierrez. BA in English. Rebecca Gutierrez. BA in English. Jacob Anderson Harkey. BA in English. Alexis Nicole Harmon. BA in English. Emily Moreno Hernandez. BA in English. Jessica Ramona Hernandez. BA in English. Shadi Hernandez. BA in English. Winona Leilani Herrera. BA in English. Christy Michelle Hines. BA in English. Alexander Mitchell Holbrook. BA in English and BS in Molecular, Cell, and Developmental Biology. Nafisa F. Hossein. BA in English. Cassidy Vieira Hunt. BA in English and History. Lujain Hussein. BA in English. Nico Hai. BA in English. Karen Yunju Im. BA in English. Ashlyn E. Nasio. BA in English. Stephanie E. Jackson. BA in English and Political Science. Taylor Joe Janvrin. BA in English. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you to my amazing friends and family, and especially to my wonderful mom. I wouldn't be here without you. I love you. Gia Magdalene Jaramillo. BA in English. Matthew D. Jones. BA in English. Yi G. Kong. BA in English. Rebecca Lynn Mazmila Carlos. BA in English. Adam Thomas Carp. BA in English. Angelica Kazarian. BA in English. Emma Pauline Keenan. BA in English. Departmental Highest Honors. Hannah Lynn Colonel. BA in English. Danita Donakia. BA in English. Michaela Summer Clunt. BA in English. Daniel Ko. BA in English. Kyle Joseph Kokel. BA in English. Zoe Rosalia Poon. BA in English. Kylie Marie Lafernay. BA in English. He 
Keaton Riley Larson, BA in English, Jamie Robert Lawler, BA in English, Asia Villavert Lay, BA in English, Nicole Lee, BA in English, Robert Sue Lee, BA in English, Samantha Lee, BA in English, Roxanne Mackenzie Lignier, BA in English, Olivia Lindgren, BA in English, Danielle Margaret Lindenbaum, BA in English, Emily Olio, BA in English and Classical Civilization, Tiani Leo, BA in English, Barbara Anita London, BA in English, Claudia Lizette Lopez, BA in English, Marlene Lopez, BA in English and Korean, Nathan Scott Lovejoy, BA in English. A huge thank you to my family and friends for all their support. I love you guys. Go Bruins. Kate Alexandra Lucas, BA in English. Mackenzie R. McLean, BA in English. Yasmin Tala Majidi, BA in English. Departmental Honors. Ulani Edith Mafate, BA in English. Demi Marcus, BA in English. Cynthia Martinez. BA in English Ernesto Martinez BA in English Gabriel Patrick McCarthy BA in English and History Alice McCormick BA in English Kathleen McGovern BA in English Lisa Marie Mendez, BA in English and Chicana and Chicano Studies. Camilla Rose Michelli, BA in English. Ivy Cassandra Miguel, BA in English. Carlos E. Nilsson Mira, BA in English. Isabel Faith Molina, BA in English. Janice Symbol Monticello, BA in English. Vincent Montez, BA in English. Karina Mora Miranda, BA in English. Daniel Eduardo Morales, BA in English. Elena Lee Moreno Calf Speak, BA in English. Akela Kalani Morinaka, BA in English. Aisha Mosadek, BA in English. Lillian Virginia Modern, BA in English. Departmental Honors Heather Ann Moylan BA in English Christian Jonathan Munoz BA in English Jasmine Murphy 
BA in English. Sidra Nawaz, BA in English. Spencer Donald Nithurda, BA in English. Megumi Nezim, BA in English. Departmental Honors. Hilary Vang Gwyn, BA in English. Sharon Gwyn, BA in English. Timothy Dean Gwyn, BA in English. Trambic New Wind, BA in English. Jean Carol Nicasio. BA in English. David Joseph Nielsen. BA in English. Sienna Solnini's. BA in English. Kelly Christine Nola. BA in English and Psychology. Hyunji O. Oh. BA in English. Aaron Renee Honorecker, BA in English, Departmental Highest Honors. Erica Vanessa Oriana, BA in English. For me, this has been a 10-year journey, and 10 years ago, I couldn't have imagined to be graduating from UCLA. So today, I am grateful and happy to be accomplishing this goal for myself. Luis Diego Orozco, BA in English. Ifueko Osaro Gabon, BA in English. Yuval Azari, BA in English. Jess L. Megan Pagalayan, BA in English. Jack Cologne, BA in English. Vanessa Marlin Palma, BA in English. Eris Joel Pangan, BA in English. G1 Park, BA in English and BS in Statistics. Seongjin Park, BA in English. Stephanie Songyun Park, BA in English. Samantha Rose Perez. BA in English. Alessandra Sabina Petsulo. BA in English. Emily Chin Pitcher. BA in English. Daniel Tong. BA in English and Chicana and Chicano Studies. Isamar Ponce. BA in English. Jai Prish Kolnik, BA in English, Departmental Highest Honors and Thompson Prize. Kimberly Maria Quijada, BA in English and Chicana and Chicano Studies. Jesus Ramirez, BA in English and Philosophy. Leslie Joanna Ramirez, BA in English and Labor Studies. Mondri Yashomini Ranenya, BA in English and History. Ashley Marie Raper, BA in English. Amber Reese Reagan, BA in English. Michael David Reagan, BA in English. Jordan Taylor Reardon, BA in English. 
Jessica Eva Reed, BA in English. Ileana Carissa Resendez, BA in English. Francisco Jose Reyes Betancourt, BA in English. Carla Rochelle Rivas, BA in English. Ide Rodriguez, BA in English. Haley Sarah Rocknapur, BA in English. Jackson Drew Rose, BA in English. Laura Mary Rosen, BA in English. Hannah Ma Rosenberg, BA in English. Departmental Honors. Isabel Marie Rubio, BA in English. Jacqueline Helen Rudiswelli, BA in English. Zachary Jacob Ruiz, BA in English. Sarah Rundle, BA in English. Nilam Sani, BA in English. Valentine Sojourner Salamoni, BA in English. Robert Conrad Solonides, BA in English and Russian Language and Literature. Jennifer Sanabria, BA in English. Jocelyn Sanchez, BA in English. Yesenia Sanchez, BA in English. Guadalupe Sandoval, BA in English. Sapphire Natalie Sandoval, BA in English. Fabiola Santiago Burrito, BA in English and Chicana and Chicano Studies. Michael Robert Schaefer, BA in English. Caden Taylor Schuber, BA in English. I'd like to thank my mom for providing me with the resources and allowing me the opportunity to be where I am today. Sophie Coletta Seeholzer, BA in English. Cheyenne Megan Seeley, BA in English. Alexandra Serafin, BA in English. Amy Alejandra Sesma, BA in English and Political Science. Gabrielle Rose Sharfman, BA in English. Kaya Kai Sherry, BA in English. Catherine Claire Simone, BA in English. Sarah Joyce Garrett, BA in English. Kristen Lynn Snyder, BA in English. Cynthia Maribel Solario, BA in English. Jae Yoon Sun, BA in English. Jin Ha Song, BA in English. Catherine Elise Su, BA in English and Psychology. Amanda and Sosa, BA in English. Carson Page Daniel Speth, BA in English and Dance. Congratulations, class of 2021. Go Spencer Matthew Spring, BA in English. Janessa Marie Stevenson, BA in English. Nicholas Alexander Ta, 
BA in English. Raquel Marie Tavaldari, BA in English. Jessica Lee Tarm, BA in English. Raleigh Joycean Tarver, BA in English. Cynthia Audrey Tavares, BA in English. Danielle Ryan Taylor, BA in English. Mariana Alejandra Tejeda, BA in English. Garrett Joseph Thomas, BA in English. Kalisa To, BA in English and Psychology. Departmental Honors. Katrina Elise Sapinoso Torio, BA in English. Jorge Alexis Torres Hernandez, BA in English. Jason Michael Tower, BA in English. Rachel Renee Trian, BA in English. Bianca Monique Treviso, BA in English. Kelly Lynn Trin, BA in English. Ryan Trin, BA in English. Scarlett Rose Tunney, BA in English. Mia Lee Tyler, BA in English. Eric Augustin Urania, BA in English and Art. Zoe J. Valentin, BA in English. Noemi Alexis Vanslife, BA in English. Jacqueline Helen Vanzura, BA in English. Melissa Carla Varvero, BA in English. Justin Michael Velasco, BA in English. Julian Tobias Verdon, BA in English. Audie Vildor, BA in English. Jacqueline Kwong Vo, BA in English. Trinity Wong, BA in English. Caitlin Lay Waters, BA in English. So how's my tassel from orientation two years ago and I'm so sad I don't get to use it today, but congratulations to all my fellow 2021 graduate Bruins. Connor Brenda Margaret Wharton, BA in English. Alyssa Meta Wheeler, BA in English. Cassidy Ray Whitsett, BA in English. Anna Jane Whittle, BA in English. Hayden Eric Weidman, BA in English. Skylar Dylan White, BA in English. Duran Jamar Williams, BA in English. Cameron Blair Wilness, BA in English and Communication Studies. Andrew Keith Wilson, BA in English. Savannah Blair Winans, BA in English and Art. John Mark Yat, BA in English. Megan Virginia Yankiski, BA in English. Kaliaki Yang, BA in English. Rebecca Marie Zachary, BA in English. Bao Jun Zhang, BA in English. Shifer Zhang, BA in English. 
Thomas Tiger Zone. BA in English. Gretel Zumwalt. BA in English.